All right, we are going to take a look at how to solve a quadratic equation from a graph. This really works for any equation from a graph, but for our class, this is uh, what we need. I have three examples that we're going to look at. Right now, we have an equation of a, a quadratic that has already been graphed for us. And so in the first example, it's asking us to find f of x, the values of x that will make this function output a negative 3. So we're looking for input or inputs that give us an output of negative 3. So we start by going to negative 3 on the output axis. The output axis is the vertical axis of the y-axis. That happens right down here. And we're going to make a dotted line across at that point and see where the dotted line crosses the graph. Now, one spot is here, one is over here. This one is at 1. If we go up, we get that to hit at 1. And back here, this one is at negative 3. So those are our two answers. x equals negative 3, comma 1. There's two inputs that will give me an output of negative 3. <coughs> In the second example, it's asking for what inputs will give me an output of 5. So again, on the output axis, I go to 5, which is right up here, dotted line across there. And in this case, it looks like the only place it hits is there, which if I come down to the input axis is at negative 1. So my only answer in this case is x equals negative 1. Okay, now the final thing that could happen on a problem like this is demonstrated in this last example here where it says f of x is 7. So I need to go to on my output axis to 7, which is up here. And when I make a dotted line across, it doesn't ever touch the graph. And so... There's no place for me to say this particular input will output a 7. So there are no solutions to this equation. That covers all three examples. If they give you the graph, it could look like a variety of different things. But you go to the output axis first, make a dotted line at that level, and see what inputs will take you to that line. That's all that it takes.